Hello YouTube, this is Cole with Meet the Bible uh, doing this series, this this uh, 12 videos in 12 days um, like and subscribe and as Sonia says hit the hit the hit the uh, the bell you gotta hit the bell it's windy out right now and I'm behind a building to keep the wind off the camera and judging by the, what I'm seeing here that my face is kind of dark but maybe I'm handsome that way um, I was at a, it's Christmas time parties and stuff like that you know I was at a, like a, I don't want to call it a party, but family, a friend get together last night. And uh, uh, Dave, David, if you're watching, i dedicate this to you here. Uh, and they were talking about Christian stuff, Christian, the Bible, talking about the Bible. And I have some strong opinions on what it says. And hey, let me say this. I, mean, I, I say this once in a while. 30,000 verses in the Bible, 30,000 denominations explaining them thousand translations somebody is wrong and it could be me I am not dogmatically standing up saying this is what the Bible says period you know I believe in the God of the Bible and I believe the Bible says X Y and Z gosh I can't remember the young man I was at breakfast with uh, a power breakfast the other day Friday morning and a good strong Christian man and he was disagreeing some things I was talking about and he was looking radically looking things up on his cell phone and uh, you know challenge me and which I strongly encourage and if somebody y'all disagree with me I strongly welcome you to put down where I'm wrong but he, he made a point he pointed it at his phone and he says so what you're basically doing is watering down the Bible and I Okay, you understand you're pointing at your phone, okay, not the Bible. And I submit we don't, I know what the Bible I use my phone for the Bible. But I believe the Word of God. I believe it is inerrant. But I believe that is the manuscript. The manually scripted Word of God, written you know, thousands of years ago, uh, in Greek, Aramaic, and Hebrew. And I don't speak any of those. So we are dependent on translations. And if you really look up your Bible, it is largely a transliteration and not a translation. We, you know, this stuff just isn't factual, you know. But the main things are the main things, of course. Um, so, and there's so much. The number one memorized verse in the Bible is no, there, John 3.16. Huh? Number one. The number one misquoted verse in the Bible is Mama 3.16. You know, Mama says cleanliness is next to godliness. That's not in the Bible. I go on and on, but I'll uh, run out of time if I do that. This one's going to be a little bit longer. Appreciate if you hang with me to the end because you need hits, likes, and view throughs. Views and view throughs. So, all right, if you don't want to listen to me, just let it run to the end. <laughs> but anyway, he brought up, and, and uh, we're talking to. You know, they like. I'm asking him. He didn't, he was a lay. A, I was asking him if he memorized the Ten Commandments. I have a video on that. So it's only ten. You can memorize. You can memorize them. In fact, I'll do another one here. Um, they're not that hard. Um, but his point was, and I've heard it before. Well, the first two capture all of them. Well, it it, it kind of does. Love God with all your heart, mind. That's where I come in. And soul, well, if you do, you're not going to be a murderer. You're not going to be an adulteress, etc., etc. So that's true. But, okay, there's only ten. So, but number two, love your neighbor like yourself. And this is what came up. So today, the, the video, the, this one is, and who is my neighbor? So who is your neighbor? I believe, 30,000 verses, 30,000 denominations, and people don't agree within the denomination what is what it says. Atheists, you know, they, they play hell with that. Um, you know, they, they're all over that stuff. So, But, you know, if God wanted to make it clear as cut as day, he sure could have. He made it a mystery. Study the soil that's self-approved. Now it feels the winds are more to my left. I hope you're not picking it up on the camera. So who's your neighbor? Well, it's everybody. No, it ain't. And I'm going to demonstrate that today. Who's our neighbor? Neighbors, who's our neighbor? Luke 10, 25 and 37.
The parable of the Good Samaritan. 25. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood upon to test Julius, the, to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, he replied, how do you read it? He answered, love the Lord, your God, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. I think that's where that comes from. I have to put my glasses in, which really aren't my glasses, but hard to see this stuff. Um, there's that wind. I hope it's not hurting you. 28. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this, and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? 30. What does 30 say? I've got to open this up. Oh, here, I just printed something up. 30. In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. 31. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. 32. So too, a Levite, when he came to, to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. 33. 33. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. I guess everybody poured, carried wine with him. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. 35. The next day he took out two daraneras and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said. And when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expenses you may have. 36. Which of the, which of the, these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robber? 37. An expert in law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Okay. Not everybody's our neighbors. Okay. People who do you wrong ain't your neighbor. Pedophiles ain't your neighbor. Okay. Uh, um, there's a whole lot of people that don't qualify as our neighbor. A lot. And we don't have to love them. We don't. That is absolute crap. We're not, you know, forgiven soft Christians, or we shouldn't be. We should be strong. We're warriors for Jesus. You need to get out there and stand your ground. Not this fruity toot stuff where I got to love everybody, hold hands and sing Kumbaya. We don't care about the, the bad guys. I, again, I'm in prison. I, I, I'm, I'll be in prison Wednesday and Thursday this week. Um, I, I understand criminals, and I believe in second chances. But in the end, you know, Stalin and Kim and Pao and Hitler and these people, they're bad people. They're not our friends. They're not our neighbors. So neighbors are people who you, I, most of you, I guess, would stop to help a person. Uh, it would pick them up. Uh, uh, Miss Sandra posted a, a, a video about one pay pay in fence. You stand at the store or stand in line at the child line at the restaurant and pay the food for the person behind you. I don't know how you can do that. I guess give them an extra ten bucks to go towards theirs. Um, helping homeless people. I have a tremendous homeless ministry. I, I really do help homeless people. I believe in helping these. I don't know about driving up for a woman and giving a couple bucks to a guy flying a sign. I think that I'm also a force protection, self defense guy, and I don't know. That's, that's a, a lot could go wrong. A lot could go wrong. It, you know, nothing. The guy pulls a knife. Nothing. The speed, it's not worth it. I, I just really question that. But I do believe giving money, helping poor. Anyways, we're on 10 minutes here. Uh, like, subscribe. 
hit the bell button and share. And uh, we're getting near Christmas now. I wish you and your family the very, very best. Team Jesus. God bless. Bye.